Welcome back, friends. It's Anders. Today, we are gonna be making some Coquito. Now, I have to tell you, uh, growing up in Wisconsin, I was not familiar with this drink. And I've wanted to taste it for a long time. This is the Puerto Rican holiday drink. It's a big festive thing. I've been to Puerto Rico a couple times, beautiful place, but I've never been there over the holiday season. So I've never had this. And so I wanted to make it myself. However, I didn't realize what I was in for. There are countless recipes and they all are very different. My understanding is that this is a concoction that is a family secret. It's passed down generation to generation. Everybody makes it a little bit differently and people really love it. So I have put together a recipe that we can try here on the channel. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more sips, tips, and recipes. And let's go make some Coquito to the bar. I'm doing some weird like, uh, yeah. I was trying to do like a little stand so I could like read my notes and um, it's not working at all. So let me just, uh, there was that by my coffee. The name of this drink, Coquito, means little coconut in Spanish. And coconut is the predominant flavor in this drink. Now there are numerous variations of this drink around the Caribbean. Each island has their own rendition. But back to specifically Coquito, we don't know the origins of this beverage, but it has become a rather popular thing. In fact, here in the United States, in New York, they have an annual competition. It's called the Coquito Masters. I didn't know anything about it until I started researching this drink, but it's held by the International Coquito Federation. So it's a very serious thing. So it's a big deal. I am not submitting my recipe to the Coquito Masters because yeah, it's good. Actually, honest, I'm gonna be completely honest here. I put together a recipe a couple days ago. I thought it was really tasty and thought, I wanna do a little bit less of this, a little bit more of this, and I haven't had a chance to try that. So that's what I'm doing today. This recipe is untested, but I'm being completely honest. This is why I would not submit it to the Coquito Masters. Uh, I'm also hoping for a little bit of feedback from you Coquito experts out there as to uh, whether or not this is an acceptable version of the drink. Anyway, let's get back to the drink at hand. So like I mentioned, most recipes are family recipes handed down generation to generation, and there is a through line. All of them have a spice, at the very least cinnamon, but a lot of times other spices as well. A dairy element, uh, it's usually evaporated milk, but some recipes will also have sweetened condensed. And then there's a coconut element as well. All of them, for the most part, are spiked with usually Puerto Rican rum, sometimes other spirits. Although I did actually see some accounts that say old recipes, really old recipes would use moonshine, Puerto Rican moonshine, which is called Pitoro, what I am going to set out to do today is to give you a Coquito recipe with simple measurements. I'm gonna be making a small batch, but you can scale this up however large you want to. So, now the ingredients. To make this recipe, we are gonna need coconut milk, evaporated milk, sweetened condensed milk, cream of coconut, vanilla extract, a little bit of salt, Puerto Rican rum, and spices. For the spices, I have four cinnamon sticks, about a teaspoon of whole cloves. This is actually 25 cloves and one star anise. Again, this is gonna make a recipe for about two to four people. This recipe is gonna be predominantly coconut milk, which is gonna give us a fluffier, lighter coquito. Still rich and creamy though. And it gives us our coconut flavor. We do get more coconut flavor as well from the cream of coconut, which is essentially a coconut syrup. So it gives it sweetness as well. I made this, uh, you can too. I'll leave the recipe down below. The standard is usually Coco Lopez, but if you do wanna try another store-bought option, as always, I recommend Liber and Company syrups. This is a toasted coconut syrup, which would be really good in this recipe. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a tea with the spices. So I'm gonna pull out my handy dandy burner and we will get started. Let's build. Okay, this thing's gonna make a lot of noise. All right, I've got a little pot here. First, let's add all of the spices into the pot. Actually, I want to break these cinnamon sticks just to get more contact with the spices. All right, now let's add a cup of water and we'll turn this on. We're gonna bring this up to a boil and we're gonna reduce it by half. So it's a concentrated spice solution, but we are only gonna use a quarter of a cup in this recipe. So this would technically be enough tea for a double batch. It's fogging up our top camera here. I'm just going to try to 
get the lens to clear. If you can see through this, the color is starting to get darker and we want a nice dark brown color. This doesn't have to be exactly reduced by half. We just want a nice strong flavor. I'm using this chopstick to determine when we are at half. Should have put a little marker at the starting point, but I remember it was kind of here. And then I just kind of check in to see how high up the water is. I would say that's good. Now, filter off all of the spices, run it through a fine mesh strainer. Oops. And there's our tea. But we want to cool this off, so pop it in the freezer. Don't let it freeze, obviously. We will commence with the rest of the cookie dough. While that cools, we can build this into our blender. I'm using a Nutribullet, but you can do, use a regular blender, especially if you scale up, you're gonna want a larger one. So let's start with the coconut milk. We're gonna do eight ounces of coconut milk, four ounces of the evaporated milk. We're gonna do another four ounces of the sweetened condensed milk. I'm gonna make a mess, there's no getting around it. Dump that right in, four ounces. It's thick, so it's gonna wanna stick on the inside. Just get it all in there. Use a spatula, a spoon, whatever. Now we have the cream of coconut. We're gonna do two ounces of the cream of coconut. If you want a sweeter coquito or a stronger coconut flavor, you can always add more. That leaves us with the vanilla extract. We'll go quarter of an ounce. And vanilla, I think, is pretty popular in the coquito. A lot of the recipes that I saw called for it. Oh, our tea, nice and chill. And I'm gonna do two ounces of the tea. I really wanna taste the spices. So this is gonna be quarter of a cup. The last thing I wanna do, a pinch of salt. Oh, I said that was the last thing I wanna do. I actually would like to add rum as well. So I'm gonna do four ounces of rum. Feel free to add more rum or less rum. You can blend it up. Let's do it. Look at that, I'm right at the max. So if you have a Nutribullet, this is the preferred Coquito recipe. Now blend. <laughs> Gotta be good. Give it a taste. Ooh. Ooh. We want to drink this chilled, so I'm gonna pop this in the fridge, let it cool down. I'm gonna clean up here. We'll fast forward through this and we'll come back so we can taste it. It's gonna be even better if you let it sit in the fridge overnight. Okay, I think that's long enough. Once it is chilled, then it's ready to enjoy. It is common to pour this into a bottle. This would fill a 750 milliliter bottle. You could drop a cinnamon stick in there. That's pretty traditional. But I am going right into serving. Are. And for a finishing touch, we're gonna do a little grated nutmeg across the top. Although you could also do grated cinnamon. There we have my version of Coquito. Cheers. Oz, would you like to join me? Hello. Oh, hello. All right. All right, cheers, cheers everybody. Mmm. Mmm, it's rich. It is rich. You it's definitely good. get the spice. Yeah, there's no egg in here, but I can see why people would say this is like Puerto Rican eggnog. It's rich, fluffy, this but is good, I think though. it's pretty tasty. It kind of tastes chocolatey a little bit. And does, I know there's- yeah. yeah, it does have like a chocolatey element. Yeah, Merry Christmas if you celebrate Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Festivus for the rest of us. Yeah, I think we are getting to the end of uh, my allotment of rich cocktails this season. There it is, grab your merch, sign up for the newsletter. Thank you for watching, thank you for being here until the end. We will see you next time. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Cheers. Cheers.